So, uh, welcome, I'm Simon Rodway. Um, I'm actually Global Head of Pre-Sales here at Comply Advantage. Uh, and I look after uh, the pre-sales team that operates across the world. So here at Cybos this year, we're actually talking a lot about our negative news and our ability to process adverse media and support our clients in making decisions based on what is very complex data. Yeah, sure. So as we've seen recently, uh, organizations like the Financial Act Action Task Force and other, and other groups have talked a lot about how uh, machine learning can be used or should be used. But they've talked about it in the context of um, application. They've talked about it in how we can be used to prioritize. But as part of that, it is still essential that an analyst can explain to the regulators why a decision was made. So machine learning is not here to replace the human. It's not here to replace their expertise. What it is here to do is it is here to remove the repetitive tasks, the things that they don't need to be able to be focused on and, and give them the time to focus on what is really important. Yeah, so AML is used and certainly machine learning is used to actually help us process this data. We're actually be able to make decisions around things like dynamic risk analysis to provide a dynamic risk score to equip analysts with the information that they need again to actually see contextually what is actually going to be suitable for them. So that rather than process vast amounts of information, rather than read through news articles, rather than talk about uh, pages and pages of information, they're just presented, they're using machine learning, natural language processing to actually simplify that so that they can get the right context at the right time to make the right decision. So within the Comply Advantage platform, we obviously make use of AI, artificial intelligence, we make use of machine learning, and we make use of natural language processing. Our adverse media platform obviously consumes lots of data from around the world, from news outlets, from reputable sources, but that has a lot of, to read through it, it's gonna take you a long amount, of, a great amount of time to read through that information. Our natural language processing and artificial intelligence is able to read through that, pull out the right context, to give you contextual aware insights so that you don't need to read as an analyst. So we reduce the time it takes for an analyst to filter through this. In fact, one of our clients has actually implemented this solution and they're seeing an 80% reduction in the amount of time it takes to get through negative news, to deal with red flags, to have that adverse media capability and still be uh, effective in managing their AML. So Climate Advantage have obviously been working uh, this year focusing a lot on, well, time. Time is key. Analysts' time is vitally important. So a lot of the new innovations that we've brought within the platform this year have been focused on improving the amount of time that analysts have to spend processing. So as we've already talked about with AML and, and what we're doing there with natural language processing uh, in adverse media and the improvements in time that we're seeing there, we've also added features that will allow case management and to uh, remediate through case management in a much more effective way. That allows things like smart alerts. So we're using our natural, uh, our, sorry, our AML and our artificial intelligence um, our AI capabilities to elevate what's important to an analyst, to bring that to the forefront so that the things that are less important can be further down the list. That opens up a, a, a plethora of various other options. That brings to the, the, the table the ability to be able to say, okay, based on the rules that you're using to alert to, to activity, we can now look at that data from our AI and say, okay, these rules are effective, these rules aren't. These rules are actually giving you true positives. These rules are giving you false positives. And use AI to now dynamically help us address that workload.